Good morning folks, we're today here for another review. This is one that I think a lot of people have been waiting for. Um, obviously the other day I picked up the BSA Lightning SE. Uh, lovely chap named Mick. Hi Mick if you're there, you said you'd look into the channel. Um, well today we're going to put it through to paces, it's test and review day. So let's just have a see how it goes. Uh, simple target testing and obviously like I've had about two or three shots with a gun. It seems perfectly tuned, and that's detriment to Mick, who was the former owner. But uh, as I said, it's pretty through its pace. So let's see how it goes. First test for the BSA is uh, the swing and reset arms. Uh, four shots on the bottom, and then you hit the reset on the top to uh, get it down. I'm going to start off with this first because it's probably the bigger target of the lot we've got today so this should be an easy start for it really. I'm using the uh, RWS hobby pellets as normal for all our target work. Let's see how it goes. Well that hit went up and knocked it over so that's a hit really isn't it. For the next one. Same again, went to Panova. I've, uh, I've ordered all some new gear now for the target testing because uh, everything's been playing up. Uh, I had a look at everything yesterday and I just couldn't see what the fault was with it so I've just replaced everything. At last we've got one. that one up and the other one fell down. Just tells you how this is going to go really but you've got to give it everything it's supposed to hit it's hit so far even though it's not stayed up as it should. I'm just going to hit the reset now to make sure. Yeah. <laughs> you couldn't believe that could you? I suppose just to be uh, just to satisfy ourselves we've got to give it another go. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we'll give that as a pass. I think he did really well there with those. Hit everyone, didn't go wrong, so well done the BSA. Next test for the BSA, target shooting. Uh, I'm going to put five into the centre and then one into each of the four red corner targets to see how good it is with its accuracy. Let's see how it goes. It doesn't look like it's doing too bad, I can't actually see from here because it's a fair distance away but it looks like it's doing well from the scope from what I can see. Five into the centre seem to do well. We'll start off with the uh, left hand side top one on the red targets now. Let's see what it can get these. Bottom right to finish off. Uh, 
Well, yeah, I think we can say that's more or less bang on. It's done really well there. We'll move on to our next test. Next challenge is just one I've dreamt up, being as uh, a lot of our target um, machines are not working very well at the minute. It's called the bottle top. Just a normal screw on bottle cap off a, off a bottle. Let's see if we can knock it out from this distance. Distance here is about 15 metres. Wow, perfect shot. Another one to the VSA. Next one for the VSA is can it get through the half inch piece of wood? You've seen this test done before on the other guns, straight hobby pellet. Let's see if it can get through to the other side. If it does, it's got a fair bit of velocity. If not, to be quite honest, it's quite a thick bit of wood, so it is, uh, it is hard to do. But here we go. Right. First things first, it's not very wide. We hit it. Let's go and inspect the damage. Right, first things first, you've probably seen this test done before with the wood. Uh, that was our old shot, I think that may have been from the uh, the Webley Exocet set to be fair. This is the BSA, as you can see it's gone straight through, left a nice little crater there in the back, I don't know if you can see it, and if I dig just a little bit through the wood there, there you go, that is the remainder of the pellet. I don't know if you can see it there in my hand, I am trying to get into a position where it is suitable, but that's what's left of the pellet. It did come out the other side, it was just stuck and hanging in there. But as you can see, it left a fair bit of damage in the back of the wood there. So I think that lets you know it's got a fair bit of velocity there. Um, the gentleman who I bought it from did explain to me that he recently had a new spring and seals fitted, and I think it shows. So well done again there to the BSA. Another win. Last one for the BSA, we've got to do it this way today due to the fact as I've said uh, our targeting um, machines are playing up terrible as you've probably seen earlier on with the swinging system. Uh, there is new stuff on the way so that will be sorted shortly. So it's just a straight 10 now into the target to see what it can score. Now I'm expecting good things, it's done well on everything else today so why can't it do well on this? 10 straight shots into the target. Let's see how it goes. Well, there's a nice start, nice bullseye. It's lovely trigger on this, really, really smooth to shoot. I do like this gun. I also like it's a carbine, I love the shortness of it. And the strange thing is, I never wanted a bullpup. Uh, I love these carbines, but I look at the bullpups and I just think, hmm, are you going to be like the same quality as something like this? I mean, if you was out, for instance, doing a bit of ratting or a little bit of pest control of any kind, this would be perfect, I think. As far as I can see, everything's been spot on so far. Number seven. They're all going through the same hole now, I think. Number 9 and then the last one, number 10, and I'll give you what I think I think of this gun, and I think you know very well what I think of this gun straight away. Um, I was really impressed with uh, our Webley Exocet. I think this may take some beating, it's some gun, it's really good to shoot. 
and that's the tenth one. Well, after that today, I think you can probably see this is one hell of a gun. I still say it, and I will mean this, you cannot beat original British quality with the air rifles. I would take one of these any day now over one of the foreign counterparts that are made now in their name. Um, the carbine on this suits me very well. I do like the shortness of the carbine gun. Great, just a great, great, great gun. Um, if I'd got a market at a 10, it would get a 10. It's as easy as that. Um, it's got a silencer on. I wouldn't say it's overly quiet, but quiet enough. Uh, the scope that's on there is a weaver. and. It's just done everything perfect. You can't fault the gun in any way, shape or form. This will be going into our gun league, you know, the battle league and uh, that we do on the channel, uh, which is coming up very shortly. Uh, a couple have been filmed and will be coming on shortly, but I've got that much catching up to do at the moment. Um, I'm still trying to do reviews of the guns that we're using in the battle league. So this one I will get out and on uh, before it actually uh, appears in the battle league. And um, as I say, if you wanted me to recommend one of these to anybody, without a doubt. If you can get your hands on one of these, the old, I think these was, this was a late 90s or 2000, it is stamped on the barrel somewhere um, that it was British made. Because I know there's a, being a few about there, there are, uh, there are the Spanish made Gamma ones, but uh, they get stamped up, this was say, the late 90s, early 2000s gun this was, and it was a, an original British one. Um, <coughs> but as regards quality, as regards shot, as you can see from our tests, boy, go boy, no. There's plenty of used ones, and even if you go buy a used one that's had a bit of wear, New Springs, couple of seals. I'm sure that one cost you a load of gunshot. It's worth paying probably fifty, sixty pounds for one that's got a little bit of wear and putting a new spring in and a new you've just got a a gun that'll, you know, last you a good few years. And I'll stick by it, I've said it before on the channel and I'll say it again. I would prefer an old British made air rifle to anything now that's coming in from either China, Turkey or wherever else it may be around. Um I mean, you've got the Virog stuff on now, which is very good quality, and yeah, I'd probably give these a battle for their, you know, for their money. But um, if you base into consideration how much a Virog would cost you, to one of these, it's a bargain, really, isn't it? I mean, um, where can you go wrong? As I say, uh, over the years, our quality has gone down instead of up. You know, and uh, this was at the time when quality parts and pieces were used, and it, you know, you can tell just by shooting the gun and how easy it is to use. There's no stiffness; it just feels a quality item. Whereas today, stuff, you know, you can tell there's a lot of plastic there, a little bit of cheapness in the metals, probably imported so anything to cut corners. Really, it's it's made to cost. Whereas when these was made, there was, you know, it was whatever it cost making, and then we'll make a price around it. Not the case of this is your budget. That's what you've got to make it for. You know, cut corners if you need to. The only person who loses out is the consumer, people like us who buy the guns really. It's, it's us who loses out, nobody else. But um, ending the review there, uh, absolutely perfect gun. Definitely would buy one. Definitely would recommend if you can get your hands on one, if you see one for sale on Gun Trader for out places like that, you know, get a hold of one. As I say, even if it's a little bit worn and people haven't done the necessary maintenance on them. I was very lucky with this one, it had been done, but um, if people haven't done the necessary maintenance on one, you know, if you can get it at a cheap enough price, do it yourself, you know exactly then it has been done. Nobody can tell you otherwise. Fantastic gun. Marks out of 10, you get a 10. Thank you for watching. Uh, definitely recommend. As I say, if you can get one, get one. That's my recommendation to you. Thanks. Bye. Just to finish off there, that's the results of our target test up a little bit closer. And as you can see, done fantastically in that 10 shot extravaganza at the end. 
the five and the four corners, everyone was a hit. And uh, just in case anybody's wondering, that was our bottle top, as you can see. Not a bad shot, was it? Thanks very much for watching. That was the results of today's review and test.